I'm Steve from This Week With Cars and today I'm back with my electric car from the 1980s. In my previous video I was having trouble with the car because I was melting the terminals right off the top of the batteries. Well I have a plan and here's the solution that I came up with. I've already replaced the batteries that I melted the terminals on. Now my solution to hopefully prevent this from happening is I'm going to double up the cables. So I'm going to use one top post going to one ring terminal and another top post going to the other ring terminal. Essentially giving the current twice as much area to make a path through these terminals and hopefully keeping them from melting. I still have to do all the batteries here in the trunk but I've already done this up front. Let's take a look. Up in the front, all the batteries now have four wires running to them, two to each terminal set. The other thing that I've done is I've put copper washers on every single connection. And hopefully that will also make a better path between the terminal and the battery cables. There's a couple wires that I'm going to keep, like that one that runs from the front of the car to the back of the car. And I doubled up the copper washers. I put one copper washer underneath the cable, then the cable, then another copper washer, and then the nut. You can also see over here on this fuse that I've added copper washers to it. I am hoping that all of this will give me trouble-free operation of the electric motor. So if I jump from this negative to this positive, then this negative will have to come all the way up to here. So I think I'm better off just taking this negative over here to this positive instead. Then I can put these back the way they were. This just means I'm going to have to make a few cables that I didn't expect to have to make. So if I jump from this negative over to this positive, I run through the series here, then I've got a negative, which needs to come down to this positive, and then I'll be running them across that way. I had to turn the camera off and do some thinking and, and just testing some of the theories out here. So now I have my cables hooked up going across here, and then I decided to use long cables that then come back over here and then they go back across here, long cables again, and then across over this way. Doing it this way lets me use a bunch of short cables and keep it nice and clean and not having longer cables running all over the place. Now, before I can plug in the main charger, I'm going to have to go through and charge up every battery individually because I was running this car on just some of the batteries. So some batteries are discharged more than others and I need to make sure that they're all charged the same before I plug it in and let the main charger charge them all at once. If you're not charging all of your batteries the same and one gets drained more than the other, that's gonna cause problems for your batteries. So I better plug this charger in and get started because this is going to take a couple days to get through all these batteries. You can see this one is at 40% right now. I finally have all the batteries charged up individually and balanced. Now I can start driving the car again and charging it with the normal charger. Today the local energy services invited me down to their event to help people be aware of electric cars. They're going to have electric cars from manufacturers there so that people can ride in them and drive them, see what they're like. They also asked if I could have this car on display there. So this will be a good little test to see if the car drives now without melting the batteries. I don't have much time to get there, so I better get on the road. So far the car is driving great. I think I might be a little overconfident in it. And unfortunately that suspension squeak is back. I'm going to have to take the bushing out and grease it up real well. If everything works out here, I think the next step I need to do is see if I can get some of the instrumentation that's no longer working to work again. It would be really nice to see what my voltages are. Right now, I think the only things that work are the speedometer 
and the two ammeters. There is no regenerative braking, so you can tell you're really using the brakes to stop. Any internal combustion engine car would have at least some engine braking to it. I know they had some manufacturers back out today. They're trying to include all of the car manufacturers that make electric cars. So they're having this event in conjunction with the local farmers market. They feel there'll be a lot of people there and that's where they can show off the electric cars, the charging technology, and they also built a very large solar field so that they can charge the cars from renewable energy. Well, I think they've had a successful day. Uh, I did get comments that my car is getting a lot more looks and uh, questions than any of the other electric vehicles that are here. I'm gonna get back in the car and take a little drive, see if I can push it a little further, see if I can break it. If not, then hopefully now I can work on other things than just making it reliable. There was a lot of interest in my car. Hopefully I will be able to make this car a lot more reliable. I can show it off a lot more places, let people see. What the early days of a viable electric car were looking to be. It's still strange to me sitting here without any noise from the car at all. I could see sitting in line waiting for coffee would be really nice in an electric car. Well, it appears that I may have solved my issues. So if you want to see more videos like this, and especially videos on the Electra, comment below and click subscribe.